In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add an SKU to your Shopify product listings. It's a straightforward process that enhances your inventory management and helps you keep track of your products efficiently. Whether you're running a large e-commerce store or just starting out, assigning stock keeping units or SKUs to your products is an essential step in organizing your inventory. Let's begin. First, head over to the Shopify admin page. If you're not logged in yet, enter your credentials to access your store's admin panel. Once you're in, you'll find yourself on the main dashboard. This is your command center where you can manage all facets of your online store. Next, direct your attention to the left-hand menu and click on products. This is where all your products are listed and it's the place from which you can manage their details. Clicking this will lead you to a new page that displays a comprehensive list of all the products in your store. Now scroll through your list of products to find the one you wish to add and skew to or you can use the search bar at the top for quicker access if you have a long list. This feature is particularly useful for stores with extensive inventories. Once you've found the product click on it to open its details page. From here you'll want to look for the variants section. If your product doesn't have variants, this section might be absent or it could be labeled differently, but don't worry, the steps remain the same. Click on add variant if your product supports multiple versions, like different colors or sizes. Variants allow you to have multiple versions of a product within the same product page, making it easier for customers to choose. After clicking on add variant, you'll find an option that says this variant has a SKU or barcode. It's crucial to tick this box because it allows you to enter the unique SKU for this particular variant. SKUs are invaluable for distinguishing between different product versions, especially when conducting inventory checks or fulfilling orders, so make sure you don't skip this step. Finally, you'll need to type in the SKU you wish to assign to the product variant. This identifier can be a string of letters, numbers, or a combination that's meaningful to your store's inventory management. It might represent the product's features, supplier, or any other system your business uses for easy tracking. Once entered, ensure that you've double checked it for accuracy, as errors here could lead to confusion down the track. Once you are satisfied with the SQ you've entered, save your changes. Congrats, you have successfully added an SQ to your Shopify store. Adding SQs might seem like a small part of running an online store, but it's a crucial step in maintaining an organized inventory that can scale with your business needs. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope it helps streamline your Shopify product management process.